And we are back. It is time for me to make one of the biggest predictions of the season. It is time for the Championship Playoff Final. The richest game in all of football with a place in the Premier League on the line. Now, obviously, I'm in full Manchester United attire today ahead of today's FA Cup Final. And if you missed my prediction for today's FA Cup Final, you can check that out in the top corner of your screen right now. But like I say, today's video is all about tomorrow's game at Wembley between Leeds United and Southampton for a place in the Premier League. And whenever I think about this game, everyone talks about the connotations about how this is the richest game in football because if you win it, the prize money and then getting promoted and then the parachute packages even if you get relegated. For me, the connotations of this game are more on the side that loses it rather than the side that wins it. You've got to look at even Coventry last season it's all about the players that you lose if you don't win this game. You've got to look at Gustavo Harma going up to the Premier League with Sheffield United. Probably Sheffield United's best player, even though they got relegated. You'd probably expect Harma to move on again. And obviously, Victor Jokeres going to Sporting Lisbon, scoring 40-plus goals in Portugal. And is now looking at a multi-million, some saying 100-plus million move back to England this summer. That's what's on the line for these teams. It's not just about getting promoted to the Premier League. It's about holding on to the players that you could potentially lose if you don't win this game. So there is so much, so much pressure on these two sides. And obviously both of these sides, sides that were relegated from the Premier League last season. So they're already sides that did lose players and they don't want to lose more. So... It's so, so tough to call this. In terms of the two teams themselves, Southampton are the more interesting team, in my opinion, because they've showed two different styles of play over the last few weeks. Will they play a three at the back or will they play a four at the back? When they play the three at the back or five at the back, they are much more defensively solid. However, when they play the four at the back, the statistics show they are much better going forward. Now, obviously, across their two playoff semifinals, it was a three back in the away leg and they obviously got the nil-nil draw. Then going to the fullback, it was a 3-1 win in the second leg to get them to Wembley. I think most critically, when these two sides met in the final day of the league season, Southampton did go for the five-back at Ellen Road and did get the 2-1 win. And that has got to be playing on both teams' minds going into this game at Wembley. So I think Southampton will opt to go for the three slash five at the back in this game. So like I said, that will make it a much tighter game in terms of defensive outlay. But I don't know. I think it's going to be a very interesting if Southampton do go like that. If they go for the four back, I think we could be in for a really open game. But I think they'll go for security and I think they will go for the five back. As for Leeds, we know how they're going to play. It's going to be a 4-2-3-1. It's just a question of who's going to be playing in the certain positions. Are we going to see Archie Gray in midfield or are we going to see him at right back? Who is going to make up the front three? The likelihood is it will be Somerville, Nonto and Ruter again, but they have played other players in there in recent times as well. Ultimately, like I said, it just comes down to who is going to make the most of the opportunities because it was a really tight game at Ellen Road just a couple of weeks ago and it was a 2-1 win for Southampton. The key players going into it, Adam Armstrong, the highest goal contributor in the championship this season. Yes, Smodic's got the most goals, but it was Armstrong who had the highest goal combination of goals and assists and by a comfortable margin in the end as well. Granted, he was in go involved in goals in the semi-final against West Brom last week. Whereas Leeds have Crescencio Somerville, the championship player of the season. So... Bizarrely, the two sides that have already been promoted, Leicester and Ipswich, don't have any players to contribute to the player of the season or the highest goal contributions. Those two players are playing for these two sides taking place at Wembley tomorrow. Such a tight game to call. I really can see this one going the whole way. However, I do think this game is going to be won in 90 minutes and all of my instincts say it's going to be 2-1. I think you look at Southampton, they have the highest possession stat of any team in the championship this season. I looked at it before I hit recording. An average of 66 possession, 66% possession for Southampton this season across the entire season. Leeds with an average of 61% possession. Both sides rely on possession to win these matches. Only one team can take control of this playoff final. And like I said, I think... With the way that Southampton are set to set up, I think with the three or five at the back, I think that just edges those possession stats in their favour. 
And then on top of that, Southampton also have the most shots per game and the most goals per game in the championship this season as well. So I just think, even though it was Leeds that finished the higher position, Leeds finished third, Southampton finished fourth. Yes, there were only three points in it. Even though it was Leeds that finished third, I think with the fact that Southampton won the game at Ellen Road on the final day of the season, with all of the stats suggesting that this game should be going in Southampton's favour, I am just going to edge it as a 2-1 win to Southampton. I don't think it's going to go into extra time and penalties. It very much could. It really, really could. But I just have a feeling this game is being won in 90 minutes. And I'm going to go for Southampton. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Like I said, this is possibly the toughest prediction I've had to make all season. There is little to nothing to split these two sides. So it really could go either way or all the way. But for me, Southampton are going to edge it. I'm going for 2-1 Southampton at Wembley. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to look out for my FA Cup final reactions coming for you as soon as the full-time whistle blows. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you there.